Okay, good afternoon everybody and welcome to another on-camera game of NHL 2K11 for the Wii. <clears throat> I know, I still have a little bit of a cough, but I'm sounding fine though. Though I'm able to speak, but either ways, this is the game that you all have been waiting for. And you know what this is, it's a rematch of the Stanley Cup Finals. That's right, this game is the Boston Bruins versus the Vancouver Canucks. So let's get started. Of course, Nathan Horton isn't in the lineup today for Boston. Just like to, just to prove it, and neither is Aaron Rome for Vancouver. Starting goaltending matchups are Tim Thomas versus Roberto Luongo. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's bring it over to Randy Hahn and Drew Remenda for the call. Yes, let's make some noise. Let's do it. It's time to start the game. Face off coming up. Here we go. In the neutral zone, the Canucks win it. They get called for offside. So we have an offside 14 seconds in, and <clears throat> here's the face off. David Krejci's at the line, and <clears throat> along with Chris Higgins, let's see how it goes. And now David Krejci getting set for the face off. Face off, one by the Canucks. One by the... And here's Higgins. Let's do it. Chara now. To, to Chara. Pe he passes it over to Rich Peverly. Here he goes. Peverly goes. Takes the shot. Fires. Saved by Luongo. He regained. Rebound. Saved. Krejci takes the shot. Oh, and it's taken by Vancouver. And here's Ryan Kessler. <clears throat> okay. Here's Lucic. <coughs> Here's Yannick Hansen. Uh-oh, Higgins is breaking away. Save made by Thomas. <coughs> and that's going to bring out the Twins. We'll get back to the action now. And Patrice... Caberlet to Patrice Bergeron takes the slapper. He just got stoned on that breakaway. Yep. <coughs> Pardon me. I, anyways, here comes the face off to start the action again. And Boston with a here's Recky. Power play. What's the penalty? Goes to Christian Erhoff for hooking. Here's a hook where if you don't get the call, your whole bench and coach gets real upset. That was not subtle use of the stick there, not at all. That'll keep you two minutes of thinking time. So it's the first power play, and Daniel Paye is out for the team. Here's four. Save! Of course not. And I don't want to give up a shorthanded goal. This power play is help, will, will help me. Got it! Paye! Paye shot! Save! Luando. Here's Patrice Bergeron. And here's Adam McQuaid. Passes it to Patrice Bergeron to Gregory Campbell. Campbell takes the shot. Score! 
So with that, Gregory Campbell scores the first goal of the game, and the Bruins are up one zip. Go, oh, Gregory Campbell. Go, oh, right, Gregory Campbell. Yes. I can. I. That's right. I'm fine. I don't have laryngitis. I guess you can still hear me speak. Rocky Top. Yeah, yeah. Beverly. Yep. And this face off on Luongo's right side. All right, here we go. Here's to Yannick Hansen. Recky has the puck. He takes the shot. And Brad Marshawn now has the puck for Boston. Marshawn shot. Save. Luongo. <coughs> Ryan Kessler. Yannick Hansen. And we're deadlocked at one. <coughs> Goal scored by Yannick Hansen. Here we go again. And Vancouver Yexa. Bergeron. Shot. Time for a fight! Looks like Kevin Bieksa is fighting off against Mark Recchi. Here we go. Ooh. Here's the penalty. Vancouver penalty two, number three, five minutes for fighting. Boston penalty two, number 28, five minutes for fighting. And Chris Kelly, ready now for the buck drop. All right, that, and Chris Kelly's line is now out. And Kessler wins the face off. Here come the Canucks with a chance. Now Boston's got it. Michael Ryder has the puck, takes the shot. Save. Here's. All right. The goalie will be preparing the left side. Great G. And here's Kessler. He's got one assist. I think they're going to go out. Looks like Ryan Kessler's about to fight against Rich Peverly. Yes, that's going to teach you. And as the fight comes to a close, we'll see what the consequences will be. Okay, here we go. And the Canucks get possession at the offensive end. Boston penalty two. He's number and a three. save. Try to go high with that shot. And now Thomas decides he's going to hang on to it. And Vancouver penalty two. Number 17. Ryan Kessler at 11.33. Okay, 
7.57 left to go in the first, and we're deadlocked at one. Now Shallow with it. Shallow. Higgins. Seidenberg has the puck, and he's going to pass it to Sagan. Sagan breaks away, takes the shot. Save. I know, I know. You're sick. <laughs> Face off will be at the left of the net and the players get ready. All right. Here's Chris Higgins. He pulls off a move. And Henrik now. Sent back to the point. And the Bruins pick it up. Preachy to Sagan. So Tyler Sagan scores the go-ahead go goal for Boston. You can take the argument that the goal was screened by his own defender, but I don't know in this case, Randy. Yeah, Parker, it seems like he simply lost track of where the puck was. Either that, or he was admiring it. Pretty colors and all the uniforms. Hey, man, pay attention. The Bruins are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a good feeling. Here's Sallow. Bruins goal! Scored by... Stolen by Vancouver. Sagan! on top, assisted by... Number 46. Luongo. Save! That one was headed bottom right. He's controlling the puck at center ice. He takes the big hip check. Chara to Krejci. The puck hits off the plexiglass. Now Higgins. There it is. Vancouver on the rush. And he, oh. he scores on the breakaway. What a play to beat the goalie. Scored by Chris Higgins. Let's have a look at this goal. What an assaulting mile this time. That's been known to stop a lot of shots, but not on this attack room. That was just a total collapse on the part of the deep. The Canucks showing they're able to come right back. They've done it with that goal. They tied this game up here in the first period, and that puts them right back in the game. Number 20, Heverly, the corner, and what a playmaker he is. Here's Daniel Sedin, and here come the Canucks. He's with the market center. He gets checked, and here's Henrik. Vancouver dumps it in. Two minutes left in the period. Seidenberg getting held up. Delucic. Lucic takes it up through the zone. Less than two minutes. Luongo saves the shot. And now Luongo decides he'll hang on to it. Okay. Almost a... Back on. And Roberto Luongo gets set to protect the right side of the net. And now Vancouver... Not the air. To Rafi Torres. Caberle has the puck. Caberle shot. Save. Stick save in the splits. He pulls it off. And Roberto Luongo with the throw down to that one. Okay. The face off is on the right side of the goal. And here's Caberle. Luongo the shot going top right. So pretty much like to be the final face off of the first. <clears throat> Let's see if it goes well. The face off to the left. Here we go. Just 14 seconds left. Sallow's got it. Schrader for a breakdown of the game so far on the Geico right. Intermission Report. Randy, it's the first intermission, well, so let's fire up the old stats machine on the Geico Intermission Report. The Canucks are winning more face-offs, and that's as telling a stat as any. 
Yeah. If you can control the face-off circle, you can control the whole pace and flow of the game. Number 19 has made an impression on us. He's been all effort and all hustle, leaving everything out on the ice, and he's been rewarded with a goal. It's been a well-played game up to now, and it's hard to handicap how things are going to play out. These teams have been fairly evenly matched. All good things must come to an end, even this Geico intermission report. If you're just joining us, we're all knotted up at two goals apiece. Now, as the game gets back underway, once again, here's Randy and Drew. All right. We'll get to the second period of the game in the next video, so stick around for that.